Hey everybody, I'm Sherelle Roberts and welcome back to Let's Talk Kentucky. We're here with the Let's Talk team. It is Susan Mills, Kim Dixon, Lisa High, and we're joined by makeup artist Lori Carnes. Hey Lori. Hi. Thank you for coming. Welcome. welcome. Okay, you. first of all, your hair is everything. <laughs> it is. Thank you. Thank you. Gorgeous. It's very yeah. bright. So, <laughs> Lori, tell us a, a little bit about yourself and your makeup artistry. Oh gosh, I've been a makeup artist for 20 years, and I started out um, at a makeup counter probably like everybody else does. A um, little girl came in one day. She had been burned in a house fire, and so I sat with this little girl for hours trying to cover this. They leave. They buy everything. She comes back like a month later, her mom does, and she was like, you have no idea what you've done for my daughter. Mm -hmm. She was like, you know, I appreciate, you know, what you did. So it really kind of catapulted me into wanting to do it, just not in the retail form. So I went to hair school first here in Kentucky, and then I moved to Orlando and went to makeup and effects school there. Wow, and yeah. so you have worked with the stars. You have done all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll be showing some of your pictures throughout, you, you, the Hollywood celebrities and folks that you've been working with, politicians. Um, what's been the favorite makeup that you've done? What, what's been your favorite actor, star, politician oh, wow. to work on? I know mm -hmm. it's a hard one. Um, I'm gonna say probably Carrie Fisher. Oh, yeah, wow. I was her personal for a oh. while. Because she was amazing, outside of just the makeup, who she was as a businesswoman, and the thing is that she really wanted the women around her to really know. Mm -hmm. um, she just kind of catapulted that for me and just really kind of shifted all that and cool. loved her, yeah. All right, so we're here for some tips yeah. because we always share the bad makeup takes. <laughs> Give us some good makeup tips, especially for women our age, 40 plus who want to look our best. What are some tips and tricks that we can be using? I really think, you know, everybody's wanting quick stuff. And I think one of the things that's really, really important would be a BB cream. It kind of is encompassing of all the things. It allows you to do moisturizer, skin care. It's got coverage to it. So that's definitely where I would start. And then eye brightening versus concealers because they kind of correct darkness. Mm -hmm. Or if you have any, you know, purple going on, you just tap that right in quickly with your finger and you're good to go. Yeah. And I use neither of those. So th this, is a, this is good news for me to hear because yes. honestly, I get my routine. I just kind of just yeah. do what mm -hmm. I'm used to. Yeah. And, and as we age, our skin changes and it, you know we need different products for that. So that's a great tip. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. So how much do you focus on skin care along with the makeup? You know, for me, skin care is everything. Mm -hmm. um, no matter what amazing products you buy from drugstore all the way to expensive, you know, pro brands, the skincare and what your skin is doing underneath is the most vital thing. Mm -hmm. So investing in good skincare, investing in getting, you know, facials and things like that, just especially once you hit even early, late 20s, early 30s, really progressing that and always wearing SPF. So Kim, you're our resident makeup <laughs> person. What questions do you have for Lori? I have a question for you. What are we up to next? What's our next project? <laughs> we actually start another film in June, um, and it's going to be really exciting. It's um, called, well, I don't know if I can say what it's called, but it's about the um, <laughs> one of the very first pro wrestler women Ooh, and her story. Wow. Um, and it's, it's an amazing storyline. We did the table read for the past two days, and it's been... It's a great, great storyline. So will you be able to do like bruises and cuts mm -hmm. on this one? Yep. I'm always oh, fascinated yeah. with that. Mm -hmm. yes. I bet your Halloween costumes are like <laughs> what to die for. Yeah. For me and my son, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I missed that. I didn't realize that you were doing not only like glam makeup, mm -hmm. but also doing theater makeup. Yes. Really? Yes. So when I went to effects school also, once I graduated with them, I worked for Universal Studios. So it was a lot of um, character looks and a lot of special effects, and that can range anywhere from the spooky stuff all the way to trauma stuff, depending on what's needed. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is so interesting. Is there a big difference between the makeup that you need, that a person would need be in front of a camera like this versus what theater people absolutely would need. Mm. absolutely just because with theater you know you've got to be able to see something from very far away uh -huh. versus on this the skin needs to look perfect and work with the lighting and everything mm. that's reflecting off that so you know every medium of makeup even daily makeup is going to be completely different okay i have a blending question sure. and a contouring <laughs> question like i need i need two segments <laughs> for this so when you are blending so when you're like blending everything. Should you be using the same brush that you use to put on your foundation or should you have a brush strictly for blending? So you, 
that kind of water down, waters down to preference. Um, okay. It can, if you're using the same brush with foundation, it can muddy it up. But there's mm. a thing called underpainting, where you do the contour and stuff first, and then you stipple on your foundation over it, and it lets that contour and highlight kind of peek through. Oh. So you can really do either or, and that's also preference. You know, all of this stuff is kind of streamlined down from all makeup artists through time. So it's mm -hmm. like you really can, that's the great thing about makeup is you really can play with it and see what works best Just for you. Just do what you want to do. Yeah. Well, Lori, yeah. thank you so much. We're definitely going to have to have you back because, yeah. again, we can talk we about makeup. We need yes. <laughs> All day, any day, every day. Absolutely. Anytime. Thank you no so problem. much. All right, everybody, stay with us. Coming up after the break, hot dogs and hot dog toppings will never be the same. We'll explain in what's trending. <laughs>